Okay, Thomas, the Escalade V is not a Blackwing, and it's very simple, I'm gonna explain why. And you've taken a couple of years to realize that the ATS and the CTS became the CT4 and the CT5, so I believe in you. Okay. All right, Vs of old, CTS, STS, ATS, XLR, nutty, but they've added a level, Blackwing. Yes, yeah. CT4V, four cylinder, CT4V Blackwing, six cylinder, CT5V, six cylinder, graduate to Blackwing, eight cylinder, CT6V, not a Blackwing, but it gets the Blackwing engine and it's, actually, it's the only car that gets the Blackwing engine, that twin turboed V8. So you see the pattern there, the engine gets bigger, gets Blackwing, right? Cadillac Escalade V. Right. 682 horsepower. Blackwing. Supercharged V8. More powerful than the CT5 V Blackwing. Blackwing. Just a V. Why? Yes. I don't understand. Exactly. You're watching Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And this is the Cadillac Escalade V. And normally, we say that super SUVs are stupid, yeah. but when they get to a certain level of stupid, they somehow start to make sense again. But is this one of those SUVs? Because for $180,000 Canadian, the Escalade V... Blackwing. No, is a thing. And as for why it's not a Blackwing, well, Cadillacs say that the Blackwing name now refers to vehicles that are intended for track use. Given that this is an over 6,000 pound bus, it doesn't get that privilege. What it does get is a more powerful supercharged V8 engine. One that expresses itself through a neighborhood shaking quad exhaust. Dodge aren't the only ones making big car go loud loud. It's GM's turn. Let's see what we've got. And if you're new to Throttle House, we do car reviews, track tests, and quite a lot of messing about. So subscribe, hit the bell. All right, 682 horsepower, 653 pound-feet of torque from a supercharged V8 motor. Such a ridiculous sound. Coming it from is that. a ridiculous sound. Absolutely. And it gets... Oh. I'll just do this all day. I don't even need to... There's no review this, needed, This really. makes the F-Type <laughs> R from 2016 seem like a Corolla. <laughs> so 682. Oh so that's 262 horsepower more than the Escalade Platinum we drove, which was already a 6.2 litre V8. Yes. Uh, because of a big, fat old supercharger on top, which is actually a bigger supercharger than they fit on most of this, most versions of this V8. I know all you're hearing is V8 noises and maybe a little bit of supercharger whine, but all I can hear... I'm just hearing... <laughs> I'm just hearing the most ridiculous exhaust of all time. On, a, on an SUV, it's definitely up there. It's, well, it's, like... it's got the quad tip, so it... it... It looks like it should be making a... <laughs> that is so absurd. You're going to get in trouble. I'm going to get in trouble. That, I mean, can you make this engine sing? Does the 10-speed with the paddles, is it...? Hey, I just missed a shift there, and it really punished me. So I'm just going to go... I'm just going to go back to drive mode and let it do its own thing. So we're in... We're in V-mode right now. It'll do that. What's that? The windows are closed. I What's feel like, that? Like, I don't think I've been in an SUV that's this loud on the inside. No. Well, you, you know what? It's just exhaust noise. The road noise is very quiet. No, the Escalade is, is so significantly good now. It is really, we, really we've, good. Listen, we've complimented it. So they've done a bunch of stuff with the suspension. We've complimented the normal Escalade on the fact that when you accelerate and brake, it doesn't pitch that much. Yes. And that is, a, that is such an important thing. Your passengers don't feel like you're a bad driver. You fall in control. Yes, no, 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 I agree. But the thing is, is that even though they've recalibrated the software in the air springs in this and the dampers, it still does pitch a little bit because there's so much power. Ready? You watch the horizon disappear for a moment. All right, all right. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Listen. <laughs> I'm sure That's it would be worse if they didn't do any calibration, but there's so just stupid. so much torque. And this has got a full-time all-wheel drive system, yeah. right? And it, it biases the rear, but it, it calculates how much to put to the front to make sure that you rock it off the line as effectively as possible. But they haven't they haven't changed much hardware, right? It's mostly calibration it's stuff? It's mostly calibration. There's not okay. that many hardware changes. Which suggests yeah. that the, first, the original Escalade was pretty good as a platform anyway. Yes. Yeah, that doesn't mean that they were lazy. That just means they engineered it right the first time. Yeah. And, and GM's techs and, and, their, and their engineers and their software engineers and the people that tune the suspension are master class. Yeah. The, 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 the damping in this is so good. The Magna Ride is so good. And it's still body on frame. It is still body on frame. It does feel that, but it's, it's really controlled. My day need a Range Rover. I can literally barely hear you. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> it's amazing. I, do, I day need a Range Rover, not one week hence. And it, this doesn't, and that's a unibody. Yeah. This doesn't, this handles the road, I don't, I don't want to say better, but at least equally, and I wouldn't expect that. The whole point with these American premium things, the ones that yeah. make you feel like you're at a bar in Vegas, they, <laughs> they shouldn't be as good. No. You take the Range Rover because, it, well, actually, you know what? This is the same price now. This isn't actually cheap. No, I know, but you know what? It's worth it. I mean, it, it, from a luxury perspective, it completely ticks all the same boxes that the Range Rover does, I think. Yeah. Like, this isn't any different in here other than a little V button down here, a little V right here, and a few different trim bits, so, yeah. right? Yeah, so but, it's, it's a platform right inside. It, yeah, exactly. But otherwise, it's got the huge curved screen, which is really nice. The seats, eight inches. The seats are a bit hard, I will say. They're not as nice as the Range Rovers. You think they could have they could have done some V stuff, like bolstered soft? Maybe a bolster. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But otherwise, like the Alcantara and, and the leathers are, are, are decent. They're, I have no issues with the interior of this What's car What's your fuel whatsoever. economy there? 16.2. Well, it's the best though. It's best. Oh, it does say best fuel yeah, it's economy. Best fuel economy. That yeah. is actually pretty good, but this has been baby. This isn't, <laughs> yeah. this isn't the press car. No, I, I think after driving this and spending some more time with it and just like being in its presence, I don't think there is another vehicle that has as much presence as this one. Well, you might be wrong. Because this is a Range Rover, pride of Britain slash India. And Carson's over there in an AMG. G-Wagon. If you're going to talk about presence or status symbols, you have to include these. Now let's find out if the Escalade V's bite is worthy of its bark. Okay, none of this matters. I have 682 horsepower. They have 500 and something. I'm going to win. Huge thank you to Jaguar Land Rover Metro West for lending us this. I'm going to do everything right. I'm going to be in dynamic. I'm going to have sport shift. And I know Thomas is boasting about his 682 horsepower in that, but this has a BMW engine. So even though it says 523 horsepower, they always underrate their engines. And I'm a lot lighter. Really, I'm only scared of that G63 in Carsten's Focus because even though it has 577 horsepower, it has a buttload of torque uh, and it's not much heavier than this. So that's the scary thing. some push. Oh my god, that Escalade! Oh, I'm falling behind! <laughs> Where's that G-Wagon going? Where's that G-Wagon going? Wow, it's close between those two. Are you Unfair. Okay, I just want to. I just want to. We had a private conversation before no. this race happened, and what was? How did the conversation go? It was who do you think is going to win, Thomas? What did I say? You said I couldn't possibly know that. I'm humble, and it's down to the, the cars. No, no, I didn't. I said the Escalade V is going to win flat out, and it did. And it did. You know what? I don't think this is a launcher. You know, it's not. It's not a launcher. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I think that G wagon also deserves a second chance. Okay, we'll do a roll race. All right. Okay. Okay, so almost the quarter mile. Yeah. But I think I think we deserve another shot. Fair enough. 
Okay, roll race, roll race. Three, two, one, go! Come on, Range! Yes, go on, Carson! I knew that G-Wagon could win! Oh, come on, I gotta beat the Escalade. That G-Wagon's got more. <laughs> oh, no. I gotta beat him! Oh, he's going, he's going! No! Okay. That's interesting. That's interesting. He was gaining on you in the dig. He was. I knew that was gonna happen. He was. And you know what? This didn't do too badly either. No, it didn't. It, it was actually pretty quick. Like, it's, like, and that's not like, this is the V. That's not anything. It's just a... It's, it's, it's a, it doesn't need, it's a Land Rover Range Rover. That's four words. <laughs> no, the G's definitely, what's happened here is that this is a better calibrated car when it comes to all wheel drive and traction off the line. So I made up the difference in the dig and then right. the horsepower with the torque and the whole thing, it just made it up there. I almost had you. But I almost you never had, had you. your car. <laughs> but I almost had you, I meant I was falling back the more <laughs> we went. Uh, uh, should we pull these over and take a look at them? Yeah, go on then. All right. Okay. Where's the G-Wagon? Oh, Carson was driving it. You know how he is. He, he needs to go recharge his focus. It takes days. It takes days, that's yeah, right. Yeah. Well, we've um, got some exciting stuff coming up, so. Yep. Yeah? Yep. Yeah? Huge win. Right? Huge win. It is rapid. I can't, I can't, like... Oh my god, I've killed a butterfly. I think this killed a butterfly. How many batteries it feel is. So, you're looking at this in a new colour for the Escalade. Yes. What's Argent it? silver. Argent? Argent silver, yeah. What does Argent mean? It means silver. Okay, so, so yeah. silver, silver. Yeah, the other colours are blue, That's blue. so much silver, blue, blue. Red, red. <laughs> and yellow, yellow. Um, so this is a great looking vehicle. Uh, We've I, had time to absorb it now, haven't we? Yes. We've had a couple of years. And, and, and like the profile is great, the rear is great, the 100%. front is great. Yeah. Like it's, it's a lot. There's a lot of it. It is so good at doing what it's supposed to do. Being an Escalade? I was just the Range Rover. Like, let's be honest, quarter mile times really don't matter for these cars. Yeah, well, here's the thing is that this is the Escalade V. Yes. Right? Which means not Blackwing, but also Blackwing at the same time. This is just the Range Rover. That's like saying just a Rolls Royce. No, no, no. I, well, it's not quite the same, but I know what you mean. It's, it is, it's not like a special fast version of it. No. It's just the Range Rover. Right. And it's that quick. Because you know, last gen it was supercharged. Now they're all turbocharged. Right. Well, like maybe that one might get the, the M60i. It might. It BMW might. And engine. we should bring out when we get the X760i. Yes. And yeah, when we get that, we'll bring that out and we'll fight it with the GLS. With the GLS 63 and then we'll do the real comparison. But this was the status symbol one. And as far as status symbols go, I mean, the, the V comes with this blacked out stuff. And this is the monochromatic package, right? Monochromatic. So yeah. it's, it's full monochrome, really. Yeah, it's the beginning of the Wizard of Oz. Aptly named, yes. you might say. Uh, but it's not a Blackwing, as we said. <laughs> no. However, not. let me draw your attention to the fact that the only discernible way to notice a Blackwing is the little black lip spoiler on the back of the CT4 and the CT5. Right. Seeing as this doesn't really have spoilers, right. you could this looks as much as a Blackwing as those do. I think so. And in my mind... It is a Blackwing? It's a Blackwing. Blackwing. <laughs> Blackwing or not, the Escalade V is an exercise in maxing out all of a vehicle's stats, and GM have executed it perfectly. It's big, it's loud, it's luxurious, and it's actually fast, without compromising too much comfort. Yeah, you better be ready to force a smile at the gas pumps, but such is the price for a vehicle that makes no attempts at subtlety. Seeing this parked anywhere but in front of a silver-trimmed McMansion with 13 jet skis inside of its four-car garage would look strange. And yet, from afar, you might not even be able to tell it apart from a normal Escalade. But you, their neighbors, and their neighboring counties will certainly hear the difference. Thanks for watching.